Basically, we uh, took a PlayStation controller, just a regular one, and we took it apart, and then we soldered on to where the buttons are, and that's actually what's inside here. And then we extended the buttons into the back of this jacket. You often have just one person with their controller and uh, people sitting around and watching, and we wanted to involve them, so in this way they're getting a massage. I think I was 10 years old and I pretty much knew every fashion designer's name by heart. Instead of going out skateboarding, I was like, you know, sawing. <laughs> if you would have said what you're doing 10 years ago, a lot of people would be like, what are smart clothes? What is wearables? What really are you doing? Now when you go out and you say you're creating something technically enhanced that's a garment that's, you know, sensing something or has an iPod control, a lot of people know. I'm uh, originally uh, from Lebanon. I got interested in, in ways of, uh, of showing other aspects of my culture that will counter uh, images that are in the media. This project, it's a lion of uh, electronic lingerie inspired by lingerie that you can actually buy in Syria. All the panties are based on uh, expressions of how to seduce a man. This is the flying panty, for example. It's based on the expression called make his brains fly, tayri al in Arabic. This uh, other panty is a pom-pom panty that's based on the expression which is shake it, like a, shake it like a duck. Ariel actually is based on satellite radio. That would be the satellite receiver. And then this is the interface that you would be able to tune. We really wanted to use kind of couture fabrics. We wanted to elevate it above the cyborg. We wanted it to look soft and look very high end. This is an inflatable skirt and inflatable collar. I was trying to explore a changing silhouette. It's not necessarily for walking about going to the grocery store. I wanted to be a math major since I was in second grade. Uh, and then while I was a fashion designer, I kind of missed the math and decided to start working with technology and combine the both. Fortunately, fashion technology is becoming a larger field now too. It kind of is the future of fashion. Our original approach was like uh, finding a kind of alternative medium to display large scale data. For example, in this one, it gets the uh, news headlines from Google News and then, you know, automatically types and arrange the typeface size and the color depending on the popularity of the news. And in this sweater, for example, the red lines, they're showing the news related to the militaristic operations in Turkey. And the blue ones are showing the news related to education, like books, university or something. I think the fashion industry is finally picking up on this, which is extremely important because of the aesthetic component and the understanding of garment construction. In particular, with all these technical components, we really need that expertise. This project is called Reconnect. It's kind of about the idea of uh, physically reconnecting with yourself. And so the way it works is that um, you have just sort of a standard hooded sweatshirt, and when you unroll all the sleeves, you have these sort of cuffs that come out and cover your hands. And so the idea is that when you embrace yourself, when you sort of close in and give yourself a hug like this, you activate uh, sort of vibrating motors in the back of the jacket. Oh yeah. This is great. This is really cool. You have to test this. <laughs>